How's everyone doing? My name is Mark West, and we are back for another episode of... Actually, not another episode. My first episode. This is a game jolt game called The Last Time. I made earlier this week. It looks cool. It's a little, you know, it's like a point-and-click type game, so we're gonna get... We're gonna get motherfucking to it. Hopefully, I can be funny and not be stupid. Oh, look! It's, uh... Hey, Abraham Lincoln. I'm, I'm glad you... You know, look at all those trees. You wanna chop them down? Alright, once you've finished reading the tutorial text... Dialogue. Click anywhere to move on. I'm gonna read it in like some like Zelda type of. Four hours on patrol without a single crime. It's pretty good. Just driving down this. Uh, it's, this road is kind of boring to drive on. Don't you just love nights like this? It kind of looks like daytime. When presented with multiple dialogue options. Oh, we presented it with a multiple dialogue options. Click on one to select it. Yep. Uh, I kind of prefer to action because I'm I'm a man. I'm real shit. Not really. I like to get my hands dirty. Mm. Mm. Hey, look at his steering. He keeps turning the steering wheel. You're going to put us into a tree, Abe. Abraham Lincoln. Otherwise, it feels like I wasted my day. All right, whatever, dick. Well, that's what we get when our patch is a rural area. Not many opportunities to get your hands dirty out here. Yeah, especially when you just... <laughs> they sweet, sweet can't be a completely wasted day though you've got each other for company right am I am I am I am I right am I right don't you love me bro no I don't I'd rather be doing shit come on Jack lighten up entertain me shake that ass for me girl mm, mm. options presented in capital letters with scare square brackets like this represents actions that makes sense thanks um I'll tell a joke hey knock knock Who's there? Uh, it's Abraham Lincoln. Shut the fuck up. Wow, Jack, that was really dickish of you again. Stop cussing all the time. I'm just tired of it. Ah. How about a joke? Perfect. So po Okay, here goes. Uh, why did the chicken knock knock? What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought I read it as one thing. Mm, I I was just telling a knock knock joke, which is kind of funny. Knock knock. Who's that? Oh, here we go. This will be good. Oh, a door. Oh, my God. I adore you. A door is between us. Open up. Oh. Open up your feelings, bro. You got to open up your feelings to me. I see that earring on your ear. You can't be wearing that. You're a cop. You got to open up your feelings. I know what that deep that means deeper inside. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. Fucking don't forget that I asked. Jesus. Forget that I even asked. They're still on the same damn road. Hey, you know what day it is today? Uh, St. Patrick's Day. Obviously, look at my beard. I've been growing out for a while. No. I mean, I don't think so. so it's probably not. It's not even things. So. Why would you even say that, Abe? I mean, Jack. I gotta start calling him Jack. That's not what I'm referring to, anyways. It's been five years to the day since we joined the police. Mm. Can you believe we've known each other for five years? Fuck. Five years, my gone. My life gone. I'm gonna be such a dick. I'm gonna say, uh, yeah. Absolutely. I certainly feel five years older. Look at my beard. Yeah, I know what you, <laughs> I know what you mean. Darren hates being his partner. I can just tell. Do you remember how we met? Oh, I remember like it was yesterday. It was, it was in the elevator. I had, I had one of my nipples hanging out. And... Yes, and it was at the back of the station. You 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 winked at me, and I saw that you had oh oh Zach's on. Ha well, I'm gonna have to play some Rocket League after this. And uh, anyway, so yeah, you spilled coffee on you know, all over my uniform. My nipple was out, which was the awkward thing because that kind of burned. I still have the burn today, actually. You want to see it? You can't see it. It was it was kind of <laughs> it was embarrassing. I'll tell you I'll tell you that. So what I love about you, Jack, you take everything so seriously. That's why I make such a good team. This dispatch calling officers Glover and Price. Repeat this dispatch. Dispatch, this is Price. We've got a report of burglary in your area. Hell yeah, let's get some axes going. Is the burglary still in progress? Negative. The homeowner called and said that it was a place to look into, but it was empty time. So we just needed to gather evidence? Affirmative. What's the address? 13 Evergreen Place. Got a dispatch. We on our way. 
And that we are. Looks like you might be able to get your hands dirty after all. Oh, oh, heck yeah, baby. Click on an interactive object or blah, 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 blah. Hey, uh, probably, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> nice doorbell you got there. Uh, yeah, there's no other meaning besides. I've, I've seen, he said I've seen better. No, he did not just say that. What a douche. Just ring the damn doorbell. Uh, hello? Housekeeping? House housekeeping? Housekeeping? Looks like they're not coming. Uh, okay. Can we just open it? That's embarrassing. That. Yep. Yeah, obviously we're cops. We can do what we want. America guns. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Anybody home? Anyone home? Where do you think the owner is? Hiding. Maybe they're hiding somewhere. They could be scared. Yeah, you might be right. What about the door? Do you think a burger got in? Uh, pick the lock? Question mark, girl? Obviously not. The door's fine. Or maybe he let him in. Maybe that's a mystery inside this whole episode. I don't see any signs of forced entry. Good point. My cat behind me scared the shit out of me. I thought I was getting stabbed from my neck. Hey, I'm going to dust the door for fingerprints. You already touched it with your hand, you g-schwad. Wow. You mind checking around the house? No problem. Okay. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm, girl. Clicking anywhere on the floor will make you walk to that location. Walking to an open doorway will make you move to the next room. Okay. Guess I'm just going to check. Oh, that's a fucking wall. I should have known that one. That is a wall. Hey, nice picture. Is that your kids? Oh, yeah. That's, that, there they are. That's uh, Block Jr. and Cigarette McGee. Oh, that's cool. I like that about them. They look pretty sweet. Hey, a handstand. Uh, I think I'll leave my coat on. Well, you know, you never, you can never be so sure. And that's locked. Okay. We, I know we probably just broke the law by just barging on in here without a warrant, but fuck it, right? You know, it's whatever. We just had, we just needed, a, I swear to God, there's a jump scare. I'm going to cry. Oh, okay. Don't fucking scare me, damn it. God dang it! Yup, that's a death. That is a fucking death. I'm taking that gun just in case I get killed. Holy crap, that's real shit. Hey, you... <laughs> Hey, man, I see it. Are, are you okay? Like, I see that you got shot in the brain, but are you going to make it? Like, do we need to take you to the hospital? Do you want me to put you in bed? Do you have a headache? Is that what you, is that what needs to happen? All right. Just fucking checking. Okay. I think he's had enough. <laughs> I put my gun at him and I was like, I think he's had enough. Okay, let's go back down. That was kind of fucked up. And our teammate's probably dead, too, and I really like him. Holy F, Batman. This is real shit. Don't come any closer. Hey, bro. You're an awful cop, Darren. Way to go. None of this was supposed to happen. Oh, my God. What would I do in this situation? I'd say calm down. No one needs to do anything stupid. Oh, shit. Do I make... This is the biggest decision of my life. I'm drawing my gun. Yeah, bitch! You know how good my aim... Darren, Darren, you remember how good my aim is, right? Fantastic. Aim's fantastic, right in the head. 40 years later. Mr. Glover? That's me. Uh-oh. Hopefully I'm not like in a... Oh, God. Ah, oh, there we are, Mr. Glover. Were we having a nice little nap? Oh, bad dreams. Bad dreams. Not really, Josephine. I was having a bad dream. Oh, dear. We're not even nightmares again. Oh, you poor thing. Let me... Let me get you some... Some Dairy Queen 
Uh, you want a you want a candy cotton candy blizzard? I wish ever so much that there was something I could do to help. Is there anything I can get to make you? I said Dairy Queen, bitch. Oh, nothing. Just get out of here. Oh, that's a shame. Well, let me know if you change your mind. You know, you should really get out of your rooms from town. We've had a long day, and I've had a best check in the residence now. So, obviously, he's an old person's home. He probably killed Darren because that was my decision. And that's it. <laughs> Pick up the damn phone. Hello? Is this Jack Glover? Yes, that's me. Thank God it's been ages to track you down. I need to talk to you about your old partner. What? How do you know about Darren? I shot him in the head. On accident, of course. It's a little difficult to explain. If It's better we meet in person. There's a park around the corner from your old folks. Meet me out there in 10 minutes. Fine. Fine, I'll be there. Well, looks like I'm going to be breaking out of here. All right, that was the demo. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, could you please leave a like? This is, oh, damn. He's about to do some real shit out here. All right, there's his Kickstarter. If you want to help him out, I believe the Game Jolt link in the description. You want to play it for yourself. And there's the Kickstarter. You want to go help him out, and that'd be great. If you guys could leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, that'd be great. Stay a classy until next time. I wonder what chicken tastes like with, with a, two Doritos stacked between them. I don't know.